And here we go. Our first stop today is Phyllis Davis. She is an actor who appeared primarily on television. She co-stars in the TV show Vegas. You may remember that. Very popular show. As she grew up in Texas where her family owned a mortuary business. They lived on the second floor and she would talk about how her and her sister had to be extremely very quiet during services going on downstairs. She plays Susan Lake in Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. This came out in 1970. Her last movie was Guns. This came out in 1990 where she played Katherine Hamilton. She was a one-time girlfriend of Dean Martin. I see the shadows got us again today. Follow me on Instagram, Famous Graves with Diamond Dave. Now we're walking up on a grave location of a professional dancer, Maceo Anderson. Headstone says, I walk with Jesus. Watch your step, brother. He's the founder of the tap dancing group, the Four Step Brothers. They performed successfully for over 30 years worldwide. They were the first black act to perform at the Radio City Music Hall, New York City. They also made television and motion picture appearances. You can catch them on YouTube. Since I'm close by, I want to stop by and tell you about Mary Linda Huffman. Uh, Linda was murdered along with her boyfriend, Elvis Impersonator. Uh, this, ha this happened close to my office. You could check out the story on my other channel, True Crime with Diamond Dave. This happened back in 93. Still a cold case. Many times as I'm grave hunting, all I have to go off of is a picture very similar to this one. In fact, it was this angle. So you can imagine walking around a cemetery that's 30 acres and just trying to find similar headstones and mausoleums to get to the area you need to find. But I'm not complaining because it's a whole lot of fun for me. Just like others may enjoy golf, fishing, hunting, whatever. I really enjoy this. Plus, you'll be surprised how many nice, friendly people I meet doing this. So let's get going and find Steve Rossi. At the grave location of legendary Steve Rossi. Gone, but not forgotten. I got to meet Steve Rossi. He would come into a men's shoe store here in Las Vegas that I worked at. He was half of the comedy team, Alan and Rossi. They formed the team in 1957, toured America until 1968 when they broke up. They reunited a few times throughout the years. And then in 1990, they signed a lifetime contract to appear at the Vegas World Hotel Casino on the Strip here in Las Vegas. Coming up on a grave of actor, Frank Scannell. Frank is a character actor. He appears in over 100 television shows and movies. He makes six appearances in the television series, The Life and Legend of White Earp. He also makes appearances in the Beverly Hillbillies television series. He appears in the musical comedy, She's Working Her Way Through College. This is a musical about a burlesque dancer earning money for college. The movie stars Virginia Mayo and Ronald Reagan. This came out in 1952.
legendary tennis star Pancho Gonzalez. Pancho was sometimes known as Richard. He was ranked the number one tennis player from the 1950s through the 60s. He was beating much younger players when he was in his 40s. He had a dominating serve and a powerful one-handed backhand. You can check him out on YouTube. You can find his matches. He's a fierce competitor with a fierce temper. This put him at odds at times with officials and promoters, but it made him a fan favorite. Brenda Medlock Pruitt. Brenda was an actress best known for appearing in the movie The Thrill Killer, which came out in 1964. She's in this film along with her mother, Liz Rainey. We visited Liz Rainey on this channel in another video. Uh, they were also, interestingly, they traveled the country as a mother-daughter strip act. On June 27, 1982, on her 39th birthday, she takes her own life. We're at the grave of Jolly Brown. I like this. October 18th, 1939, sunrise. Sunset, August the 24th, 2006. Edward Earl Brown was an actor. He's given the nickname Jolly because of his size and personality. A character actor. He appears in the James Bond movie, Live and Let Live. This came out in 1973. Also, Beverly Hills Cop came out in 1984. I want to show you this picture. This is how I found Jolly Brown's grave. All I had was this picture. What I do is I look at these trees, the mausoleum in the background, and then I count the rows from the road each direction to find the uh, approximate location. And then once I walk around a little bit, I can usually find it. Well, this is a pretty good day for me. I got the 1,000 subscribers. Thanks to you folks for all your love and support you've shown the channel. And I appreciate your comments. Thumbs up too. It's been many trips to California. Uh, plus all the cemetery visits right here in Las Vegas. We're able to get there. So thanks for your support. And I really appreciate it more than you ever know. Everyone needs to be remembered.